Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to tell you right off the bat, we have a new show, a live show at the Third Floor Comedy Club happening every Wednesday. In Montreal. In Montreal, 8.30 p.m. It starts right beside my seat. Crescent Street. On Crescent Street. Stogie Cigar Lounge. Bill Burr talks about his podcast. It's that place. Uh, Stogie Cigar Lounge. Third Floor has a comedy club. It's a thing called Comfort Zone. It's basically comedians that are forced to do their sets under some weird circumstances. Sometimes they're getting waxed. Sometimes they're getting fucked. You never know what's going to happen on these wacky-ass shows. And it's streamed live on my YouTube channel if you can't make it to Montreal in person. Now that that's out of the way, the man in front of me is none other than comedy legend Mike Ward. I am Mike Ward. You're Pantelis, and our friend there is a Yanni Steve. Yes. Are you going to yawn? But when you knew I was, I was going <laughs> to mention <laughs> your name, and you're like... You waited. No, no, because you normally take longer to, to you'll, you'll say something back, and then and then uh, so I, I had th- nothing though. I yeah. pulled I pulled up beside me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, he said it over to me, and I was like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know, do this ball. <laughs> yeah, but the comfort zone thing is interesting. Uh, I think we're These adding are, new cameras. Uh, open micers or the professional comics? Open micers. Or a mix of There's a mix. There's a mix, okay. but it's mostly open micers that go up. There's also lottery spots, but that's just to fuck around. But in general, they they like. Uh, one guy, I, a few of them actually, they're, they're getting waxed. They don't know when the strip's going to get pulled off while they're telling but jokes. So they have no shirt on? Just that is fucking awkward as fuck. Well, we had an awkward situation that happened last week because um, uh, my partner in crime over there, Josh Shapiro, he, he's one of the Hebrews, if you haven't guessed by his name, Josh Shapiro. <laughs> and there was a guy that went on stage who was going to get waxed, a uh, uh, bald guy, shaved head completely, some tattoos. And then I'm like, I'm looking at the guy's face like, what the fuck? And then as he takes his shirt off, I see like tattoos everywhere. And in my head right away, I was like, bro, this guy has fucking swastikas on him. Like, this is... He had like, swastikas? No, on? it wasn't swastikas. Like, I like, is that... I like, oh, no, it's just some 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 Norwegian thing, right? So I cool down. I'm like, oh, it's not... Google and then, Translate. Kill the Jews. Yeah, yeah. But then someone in the audience, a comic who's like, he's like pretty knowledgeable. He goes, yeah, but he has that iron cross on his thing. He had like the Nazi, the, the thing on his um, elbow. And I'm like, and this is during the show. I go... Are you a Nazi, bro? He's like, no, I just got this when I was younger. I was, you know, this and stuff. And I go, what the fuck does that mean, bro? <laughs> and then I go, he's like, it's a German icon. It's for bravery, for, you know, World War II and stuff. And I was like, so it's a German thing for bravery, World War II. That yeah. is Nazi stuff. <laughs> but then I'm like, do they still use it now? He's like, I think they still use it now. And I was like, my friends use it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, this is hilariously awkward. Yeah. This is hilarious yeah. like, I'm not, And he kept saying I'm not a Nazi And I don't believe He is a Nazi I believe he's just He likes unfinished mazes And that sort of thing <laughs> <laughs> He should though Like If you have Nazi Like Stuff on you Don't take your shirt off <laughs> But that's what made me laugh Is yeah. that I bury in his head He's like oh, That's a bad idea But I've already committed <laughs> Do you think he was like Shapiro Oh it ends with that Oh it might be Italian Yeah <laughs> <laughs> And we had Guido I, 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 To calm everyone's nerves I put Guido on right after Okay Yeah It was a train What ride. did Guido get oh, uh, sh- Get uh, waxed No no just to do some stand up Okay And it was awkward Was it Yeah because it's not a room The comfort zone is hard Okay It's just everyone's like Doing bombing And getting waxed And it's it's very It's fun for people to watch Like on stream Or being there as fans But as comics you die it's, uh, it's fucked God, up. Yeah. So him bombing was the funniest thing because you you have to know that anybody will all bomb. Yeah. You cannot bomb. Yeah. So, Did the, yeah. But the Nazi, I want to come back to the Nazi. Yeah. So he's got a shaved head. So he's a skinhead. Was he wearing a bomber and he had Doc Martens? I don't know. He knows. I have no clue, Brian. You're a terrible t- producer. I didn't pay attention. What? Letting these Nazis <laughs> come on board. <laughs> yeah, I think he had the full casting look, but he's not a Nazi. I think he okay. just likes the style. Um... By the way, the Iron Cross uh, has been used by the German Empire from uh, 1871 to 1918. So the bad guys in First World War One. Oh, nice. Okay. And the Nazi Germans in uh, from 1933 to 1945. It's still being used, right? Uh, negative. Oh, I think everything okay. that was used may be a Nazi. Maybe a Nazi. Alleged. Maybe I said Alleged. maybe. Well, he has that's definitely uh, some 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 symbolism. I have a, I, I actually don't have it anymore, but I had a police record because uh, altercation with a Nazi when I was young. Was I, it this guy at the open mic? It wasn't <laughs> this guy. It was um, when I was like, um, when I was really young, I, I had uh, built some uh, nunchucks like uh, like Gus. 
And uh, I, I went out. They're called Gus Chucks now. Gus Chucks. So I had my homemade Gus Chucks, but I never, I've never used them. And uh, but I'd practice at home. And then I was going out with my friends, and uh, we were going downtown. So I figured I'll bring a, I'll bring a weapon just in case shit happens. I'll pull the nunchucks out and I'll fuck people up. Bro, you were the Steven Seagal of Quebec City. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm in, I'm in uh, like uh, the center part of Quebec City. And uh, w- there used to be a Wendy's, so we go to Wendy's, we eat, and then uh, we're outside, and there was uh, I'd, uh, the, there were ketchup uh, packs, and I just step on one, and the ketchup like squirts, and then we're laughing, step on another one, and then I hear a guy going, hey! And I look, and it's a, a skinhead that he was like, he was in the darkness, like he was just in the dark, so I couldn't I A couldn't lot of them see. hang out there. Yeah, so he stands up, and he's like a 20 like five-year-old skinhead and i'm like a 13 14 year old kid and he goes who who did that and then i go oh, you, you you sprayed him yeah i like i sprayed his boots and he goes you sprayed my boots and i'm like hey man i'm sorry i didn't know you were there and he was like look uh clean this up so i i take my napkin and i wipe the ketchup off his boot and he goes clean it with your mouth and i'm like all right. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not gonna lick your boot. You even, went too far. Even nasty. just like rubbing your foot. I, I'm just doing it because you're a fucking twenty-five you're, you're year old. A twenty-five 13. year old criminal, and I'm I'm a fucking little kid. And I had the nunchucks, and I was like, I should pull them out, and I hit them. But you know, when you're little, I was like, maybe I knew if I hit a, a kid my age on the head with the stick, knock he'd die. But I was like, maybe a grown grown up's head is tougher, so I didn't want to be like hit him and him just go like. And then beat the fuck out of me. <laughs> so so I didn't so, pull the oh, nunchucks shit. out. I just ran away. And then I ran away, went up to the roof of the Quebec City Hilton. And then I was looking around and he was like, uh, like I, I could see him. Like he was, he was looking for me around the Hilton. And I was like, God damn, God damn. Okay. For ketchup. Yeah. And then I, I went downstairs, I uh, called my dad. And I was like, come get me at the Hilton, then went back up on the roof and then waited for my dad. It wasn't the actual roof. I think it was a balcony, but uh, he, it's a, I waited when I saw my dad's truck and went down, got in the truck. And I should have forgotten about that story. But then Monday morning, since we were little English kids, he, this was a dude from Toronto. He knew that there were only two English high schools in Quebec City. So he went to both high schools to find Over me. ketchup on Over his shoes. Wow, and this is a fucking 25-year-old man. So he's. I see him waiting you outside. You know what? The Nazis, very committed. I yeah. kind of like They commit to the bit. I like <laughs> so this. he's waiting outside, and I'm like, this motherfucker. And I hated him, but I couldn't do anything because I was just a little kid. But I'm, I'm very... Did he recognize you? Um, I don't think so. I didn't go out. Like, I just waited... I waited for him to like uh, leave, and then wh- when he went to where the school buses were, I went and got a city bus. Was he gonna beat the shit out of a child in front of other yeah, children? Yeah, in front of in front of his like, in front of the school. I could have just oh went to God. see my principal yeah. and said this piece of shit. But the way I was, I was like, "Don't rat." Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, so I I remembered this fucking guy, and I hated like that was why I hated Nazis. It wasn't because of what they did to Jewish people. It was just because <laughs> they were mean to me. One of them was mean to me. <laughs> So then when I was 16, I got my car and uh, we're driving around the city and I tell one of my friends in the car, I was like, I tell him the story and we're like these fucking skinheads. What a bunch of pieces of shit. And then we see a skinhead on the side of the street, uh, side of the road. So I'm like, let's, let's go fuck this guy up. So we get out of the car. I, and uh, I grab my, uh, grab a, I had a baseball bat, grab a baseball bat. And I, I didn't hit the guy, but I was just like, hey. Give me your coat and give me give me your boots. And it was winter time. He was like, I can't give you my coat. I'm like, I'm either going to beat the fuck out of you or you give me your coat, you give me your boots. So he gives me his boots, give me, gives me his coat. And then I, I fucking get back in the car and we drive around. And we start doing this for like about a year. Every time we'd see a skinhead, we'd take his boots and we'd take his coat. And every, every fucking time. And so you guys were never cold. And at first, no, I was super. <laughs> and then we'd just give them out. We'd go to school and we'd be like, hey. You want to be a Nazi? Well, what, what size are you? Because the Doc Martens, yeah. I mean, everyone likes Doc, Doc yeah, Martens. Or yeah. they, they used to anyway. So we'd give people Doc Martens. And we gave, uh, like the bombers, we'd always throw them out. Because they always had fucking like Patches. swastikas and yeah. shit. But, uh. And at first, I like at first we just steal the boots and the, and the coat, and then then like a lot of the people, they'd uh, they pretend like they weren't Nazis. So we'd try to trick them. So we'd pretend like we were Nazis, 
So then they'd say Nazi stuff to us, and then we'd go, you motherfucker, I got you. And then we'd steal their shit. Mike shows up, he's like, ah, the... The media feels like he's controlled by yeah. someone. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, stranger? <laughs> no, but because we, the first time we did that, we asked this kid, we're like, hey, uh, you're a Nazi? And he was like, no, I'm not a Nazi. And we're like, no, you're a Nazi. And he's like, I'm not a Nazi. And we're like, it's cool. It's cool. We're, we're all Nazis. We're all Nazis. And then he was like, really? Yeah, we're Nazis too. We not, and the hate and the fucking, and all the shit, you know, yeah. then the, the, the black people. And he was like, why is one of your friends black? He's, you know. That's our nickname. <laughs> That's no. See, we're, we're all, we're Nazis, bro. But yeah, so, so, and then, so we, like, one of the guys, we pretended like we were Nazis. And then after a while, it got so easy. We wouldn't even ask them for, for their coats. We just, as soon as we'd see one, one time I didn't even have my baseball bat. I just had a, a my scraper to take the, like, the get snow the, off. the snow off. So I just got him my, out of my car and I started hitting the guy with the, the broom part. So he was just getting, like, <laughs> the fucking plastic little hairs. <laughs> and he was like, what are you doing? And I'm just hitting him on the head. And I, t- I take his fucking coat. And this went on for the longest time. And then finally we stole some guy's coat that was, um, uh, his father was a cop. So he, like, uh, after I got the coat and the boots, he just looked at my, my license plate. And he was like, okay. So he, he told his father that's a cop, hey, uh, this guy stole my, stole my coat. So the cops came and arrested me. And then I go to court with uh, my friend Mike. Uh, his name was Mike, too. His mother was dating a judge that, that was our judge that we were getting. So I was like, oh, fuck. He, and he told me, he was like, my mom's dating the judge. So I'm good. I'm good. So I show up to court. I'm wearing a fucking suit. I got my briefcase. He shows up. He's wearing an Iron Maiden t-shirt. He doesn't give a fuck because his mom's banging the judge. But the only thing is, his mom didn't have, his last name was Sponza. His mom had her maiden name. So she didn't tell him my son is Mike oh, no. Sponza. She just said my son Michael is going to court and with his friend that he's a bum. He's a fucking little a rebel. He's a fucking criminal. So we show up to court. You're dressed nicely. I'm dressed like I'm in a suit. I'm fucking well-mannered. I look presentable. And I got this fucking piece of garbage. Fucking piece of garbage. So th- he got that. And I'm the one that actually hit the kid. And he was just there. He got the maximum penalty he could get, and I got the minimum. It's amazing. Yeah, and I fucking hit the kid. I hit the kid with a stick. His mom's not I good stole, at sex. And I'm the one that stole, yeah. So his mom blew a judge. So, so, so that you could be free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and her kid's in prison. That may yeah. have been her plan all along. Yeah. And I had the weirdest. I, uh, like, uh, I, had, uh, he had, I had 40 hours community service. He had, I think it was 400. God damn. So he a got difference. a lot of community service. That's a lot, though. Yeah, you got to yeah. fill that up. You got a full-time job, week's worth? Yeah, and he got a 10-week. He got two and a half months full-time. God Like damn. a whole summer he had to work oh, for free. Oh, that sucks. Like it was the maximum they gave. And I, I had to work in an old folks' home that was, uh, like, they, they made me pick. They were like, what do you want? And I was always good with old people. And this was a um, retirement home for people that left the loony bin. So when Perfect. they were too old, I didn't know you could retire from being a, a, a lunatic. A lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when they were too much trouble for the loony bin, they put them in this fucking old folks home. And the first day I'm there, they're all nice. And there's this one lady. She thought I was handsome. And whenever she'd see me, she'd shake and she'd oh, piss yeah, her pants. Told me, yeah. It was fucking disgusting. And, uh, and there was another guy. He loved the church and he couldn't speak. And uh, the church in front of the, the the home had burnt down, and he witnessed it. He saw it, but he couldn't speak, and he couldn't tell anyone. So the 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 only thing he loved in the world burnt in front of him. And he did the opposite of helping. Him. Yeah, and he did nothing. But uh, so the first day I'm there, they they d- like uh, I'm I'm around people, and I'm always nervous. Like I'm I'm not good with l- lunatics, so. I, I guess no one is. Well, I, mean, I beg <laughs> to differ. Yeah. So, uh, Widow's very good with that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm there, and then the, the first day, they're like, hey, we're going to go bowling. And I'm like, fuck, I love bowling. So I go, and I fuck them up. Like, I beat the <laughs> shit out of them. <laughs> like, I'm fucking bowling like a one in 180. Like, I'm doing really good, and they're bowling like... You know, two hands under like going between, in the gutter, like, like retards. Yeah, well, they, yeah, well, they yeah, yeah. Retards. So imagine old retarded people bowling. So they got 40, That's a good sport. 40, 50, 60. 
and I'm fucking bowling 180. I'm just destroying them. But I it ruined like the first day they loved me, and then as soon as I beat them, they were all sore losers. So the lady that pissed when she saw me because she was happy every day when she'd see me, like my job was to empty out the trash bench. She'd piss in her garbage can oh. just so I'd have piss. Oh yeah, I think in the told garbage. Me that's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was horrible. So it was a long 40, 40 hours. Yeah. But at least you got through it. Yeah, yeah. And your friend died in prison. Yeah, and he he ended up <laughs> doing yeah four hundred hours for for being a for being a an accomplice. An accomplice. He was just he was a he was a witness. He was a witness to my crime. Mm. It was my car, and I'm I'm the one that I'm the one that had the weapon. I'm the one that used the weapon, and it was my car. He was just in my car. The, what you're saying is the legal system yeah. works. Yeah. And he was so funny. Like the the guy's name. I remember the guy that we we robbed, the Nazi guy. His last name was L'Italien. The like Italian. The Italian. So uh, we, we go, what's your name? And he goes, uh, let's say Jean L'Italien. And then my friend Mike Sponsa goes, I'm Italian too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, it's his last name. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> what what's a, a fucking idiot. What did he choose? Uh, I forget what he got. He got, I think... I don't know. I think he had to pick a couple of things. Okay. Like I, th I think he picked, he picked trash for a while. I think he had to cut trees. Trees. Like it's, it's been, it's been like we, I was sixteen, so with it's a been chainsaw. Like, it's been like thirty years. Well, yeah, no, with hope. <laughs> uh, with, the, with karate chops. Nunchucks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Like yeah. Steven Seagal, bro. Yeah, he's Steven, he's Steven like Seagal father. in Forrest. <laughs> you, uh, speaking of Forrest, you told me that you went to the Christmas Village downtown. Yeah, I went to the uh, Christmas Village. And I told you it was it's a retard idea. Uh, you, you never told me any of that, but um, it was because uh, the, 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 the Quebec City is one is free? nice. Yeah, it's free. Oh, uh, at least. Yeah, yeah the Quebec, but it's cold. Anyways, the Quebec City one is nice. Um, it's cold. That, that's one of the problems about an outdoor thing in, in the, the winter. winter in yeah, Montreal, exactly. Like these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hundred percent their fault. Go on. Uh, so bastards. so so we pull up. Half the shit is boarded up, uh, and then the other economic times. Bro. How many elves uh, do you think they're gonna? And then the other uh, half of the stores are just selling soap. And it's really like crazy expensive. Were they just selling soap to you? They're like this guy. No, no. It's, yeah. it's, uh, and candles. Were they all offering you gum? Yeah. No, no. And it, <laughs> it's like crazy like artisanal soap that's like, you know, super Hello, expensive. Hello, sir. Do you want to buy deodorant? <laughs> yeah. Perfume. No, I'm good. Are you sure, sir? Yeah. Perfume. <laughs> Do you want to jump in that frozen lake for a second? And like, <laughs> they, they had candles and one of the candles was uh, like... If you wanted like a candle like from uh, like uh, where you get like um, at stores and shit, it had the regular like the rope to burn, and for uh, it was that was twenty bucks, and then like um, twenty bucks, and then there was another one with but they were wooden wicks, so those were thirty bucks. It was ten more okay. expensive just for wooden wicks to burn. I was like, what? The, this doesn't make any sense. Like ten dollars difference. I was like, this is stupid. And Did then, you tell her, I have wood at home? <laughs> I can make this yeah. and a nunchuck. <laughs> Uh, but then there was also this uh, sandwich place. Oh, okay. obviously. Uh, that they make the, the with, the, with that special cheese. Fuck, what was it called? Special cheese. Raquette. It's called. Oh, raclette. Uh, raclette. Uh, raclette. Yeah, yeah. yeah they raclette. The Swiss, I'm like, man, I'm all about, I'm all about cheese. And uh, I go to have the cheese, and it's like ham, pickles, and shit, and like mustard, and uh, the the melted cheese. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be fucking dope as shit. But the thing is, when I approach the stand, they the, locked up. The, they boarded the, up. The whiff of the cheese. I don't know why it made me want to vomit. So as I'm getting, I'm getting closer. I'm going to go. This in. is oh! <laughs> I'm like I'm gonna have fucking shit. He started yelling like that. Uh, yeah. I All right. Oh, I feel so bad for his girlfriend. And my man. girlfriend's laughing. Can we go one time where you don't embarrass me? Yeah. He's like, I'm not gonna embarrass you. It's a Christmas village. Thirty minutes later, oh, geez. <laughs> but I can't. And we're getting closer. I go. And, and then I'm in line. I'm like, I'm in line. I'm like, and you like, stayed in the lineup because she's as like, you she's like, gagging. no, no, you're he's gonna, more fat than he is sick. She's, she's like, you're like, gonna like the cheese. I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna like the cheese. It makes me want to vomit. I want to leave. And she's like, no, no, you'll like it. So then it made me try the cheese. I tried the cheese and it didn't taste like it smelled. It was really gonna go. Oh, so then the whole time, but while I'm waiting there, because the, the the scent of the melted cheese, I guess. So I vomited everywhere. <laughs> I, I order and then I'm waiting for the for the sandwich that I ordered and then I'm waiting. 
Like every five, everyone was just staring at me. I'm like, God damn, what, what the and fuck? And you were yelling out. <laughs> just dry even. <laughs> Disgusting. I was trying to hide it, but I couldn't because just the whiff of... It would hit me in the face. But Couldn't the you, like, uh, you should have left and, and got your girl to wait in line for you. If she didn't mind the odor. I well, guess my hindsight is, uh, hindsight is 20. <laughs> yeah. I guess, I guess, you know. I it, don't think as well as you, Mike Ward. <laughs> Probably her sucking your dick made her get used to that smell. Yeah, yeah. Aww. Like, hey, yeah. the good you bad. Yeah. Smells, smells like your like penis. Your, <laughs> smells like your pre-cup. So yeah, yeah. I, oh, that's yeah. disgusting. So then I get the, I get the sandwich. Was it delicious? It was disgusting. Was it? The cheese was good, but then because it's cold, the cheese you said was the problem. The, hold on, the, so che- the but, cheese that was but the problem was the good. cheese was good, but the it, rest was disgusting. But it was really cold, so it, it fucking froze right away. So it was just weird, smelly cheese. So it's melted cheese on cold bread. On cold bread and a cold ham, and my teeth were hurting because I have sensitive teeth. So it was like eating. <laughs> yeah, it was like really. It was like really. Uh, uh, weird tasting ice cream almost. What a weird life yeah. you lead. Yeah. How much was it? Thirty-five dollars. <sighs> uh, no, one? sorry, sorry, sorry. Twenty-two dollars for one, and it wasn't even half of a baguette. It was like a quarter of a baguette. Yeah, they're criminals. Mm. Never trust a Christmas village. Yeah. Never trust the village. I was very upset. Mm. You figure a Christmas village is where you'll get good deals. <laughs> on yeah. Stuff from who? <laughs> where is it? Uh, or oh, uh, Renex Plaza. Zah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it sounded like shit. In the it, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's right where the Just for Last Festival yeah, was. There right? were some nice lights. That's it. And I felt it felt like it felt like. Why would you do this? Because your girlfriend like you they know had what the. I, I nah, like not really. She hated it as well. What she I was like, like about Christmas villages is when you drive by them. Oh. You slow down no. a little. You go. That's fucking beautiful. And then you go home. <laughs> and then you leave. Yeah. You're like yeah. that's nice. I'm out. Yeah. What Sh- happened to your thing? Do you need to? I think I tightened it before, it, but yeah. it's at the. It, it maxed out when I uh, tightened it. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah and um, now it loosened. But yeah, because apparently the the one in Quebec City is like really nice. So she was expecting the same thing, but then we can. She's like, yeah, had you ever been to the one in Quebec? I think City? I've been. Okay. Yeah. Who do you think you've been? I think I've been. Something I'm pretty you sure. You know what's fucked sure up been. about Quebec City? This week I saw, you know, the there's the carnival in Quebec City? Yeah. Carnaval de Quebec. And the mascot is the only mascot in the world that speaks. Right? Most mascots what? never speak. Does he speak? Yeah. He Isn't talks. he a giant cum? He's a, he's a big uh, he's a big uh, f- like a big fat uh, mascot of one? cum, no? No, he's uh, he, I think he's supposed to be a snowman. No, he's but too thin. But he he he's a I guess he melted Is this a little. Quebec City mascot. Yeah, yeah. Bonhomme Carnaval. He's Bonhomme called. Bonhomme Carnaval. And he he talks. I didn't know he talked. Yeah, and it's weird. Like, is I, it all political stuff? It's all the thing with these Jews. Yeah. All oh my he god, does. that was the mascot of Quebec City. Yeah. I thought that was in Ghostbusters. No, no Ghostbusters you're, is you're bigger. thinking about the, the marshmallow the tire guy, the puff, or whatever. Oh. The marshmallow, the puff state, uh, the state puff marshmallow man. Yeah, yeah, yeah but. Yeah. yeah, but I when I was since I grew up in Quebec City, I never thought it was weird that our our mascot spoke. And then as I grew older, I was like, I've never seen another mascot speak. They don't speak. They never speak. They just they mime shit and they dance. But he's he's like, like uh, does he go on TV and speak? Yeah, he does interviews. That's weird. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. What is yeah, he yeah. Gives, uh, the first picture is him with a microphone. Oh yeah. fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's it's retarded. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, you want to put it? Oh yeah, there he is. He's got a mic. <laughs> he's about to. He's about to drop a mixtape. He's a mask on. We're yeah. fucking retard. Look at that. Yeah, oh, why is he? He's wearing a mask. Oh yeah. fuck. We should send him to your dad's oh. house to vaccinate him. <laughs> 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 that would be amazing. You know what's I crazy? Like you know what's crazy though? I fucking hate these fucking white guys. I think. I think because they had to put see through because he he sees out of the the yeah, mouth yeah. hole. Well, he's oh. not seeing. Then you could, your dad could have fucking nunchucked the shit out of that guy. Yeah, like the eye holes. Uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's too oh, big. So they, so he, so they blinded they, they the put him. He probably said, "Okay, put the mask on. I won't move, and then take it off so I can walk away." Ah, uh, where's that? Or he should have at least worn the mask, kind of like someone that has to at their job. So it's yeah, yeah, where it's everywhere else. Oh, but where it's when, when I was at, at the airport, there was a, a lady at the Montreal airport. I guess they told all the employees you have to start wearing masks again to show that you you take it seriously. And this lady, you could tell she fucking hated it. So her mask was down to here. It was just on her chin. Like at first, at first, like I I was like I tapped Michelle and I'm like, 
Look at that. Fuck, that lady doesn't like wearing a mask. Because there's down here. And then she started talking, and she was talking, she was talking. And every time she'd talk, it'd go down. And she just kept it there for, like, the longest time. I like, like it. Yeah, it was so funny. I'm no, tired no. of that shit. Yeah. yeah. Did you see uh, they may... Uh, oh, why, why would I mention that? Fuck it. Oh, you were going to say they may impose measures again? Yeah, they may try. I don't want yeah. to. Yeah. They're not going to. Yeah, I don't think yeah. they're going... Even if they do, it's too yeah. depressing right now. It's not happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. Uh, I hope people just do... If you're sick, put it on. Yeah. If, yeah. If, uh, if not, just fuck off. To your discretion, as they say. Yo, yeah. um, speaking of discretionary matters, we have to talk about the NHL. Because I found out today something funny. Uh, Carey Price... Yeah. Got in trouble because he made a tweet or an Instagram post about guns. He's like, yo, I like my rifles. And he used the hashtag Polly. Is that okay? That's what yeah, I want to ask you. Because yeah, he used the hashtag Polly. And uh, it, uh, the day of the, I think, the 35 year anniversary of the Polytechnic, uh, there was a guy at the Polytechnic in Montreal, which is a university. University. And uh, he went in and murdered all the women. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, Price was trying to brag. So, but uh, Carey Price was, and he was like, I didn't know. And for real, I'm sure he didn't know. Or, and then he was like, I, I didn't know. And then people lost their shit. They were like, how can you not know? You lived Wait, in Montreal. He, hashtag Polly. He meant politics, right? Canadian Polly. That's what they call it. Or like uh, polyamorous, maybe. No, it, it uh, was What does that do with guns? I don't know. Maybe he's really into them. I don't, I don't know what it was like. Short, I guess, yeah, because I was like, what, what is that short for? Because I think, too, it was hashtag Polly, P-O-L-L-Y. Oh, that's weird. So, so I was like, what is that even fucking short yeah. for? There's nothing. It, there's nothing, but it's probably, yeah, a nickname for politics. Or, no, no, L-L-Y. Is that, yeah. what it, is that what he put? I think that's what he put. Oh, that doesn't make any... What is that? Polly sounds like a person's but, but name. But even like a Polytechnic is P-O-L-I. That's what so I'm saying. I thought it was P-O-L-I. Yeah. So that's what I thought. So maybe it. maybe that's what it was. I thought it was L-L-Y. But uh, yeah, and then people got angry. They were like, how can you have lived here for so long and not know what it is? And because he got here after the, the massacre. Yeah. And uh, but then people are like, every year we have a fucking we talk about it on social media. And before that, every year that we do brag about it news. a lot. It's, it's, yeah. it's very unbecoming. We're, of us. Yeah, we're very proud of that. Yeah, it's disgusting. So now he's in trouble. So now I I, I think it's over already. Oh. Like uh, people just got angry for a day. And it's it's easy to explain. You go. The guy didn't know. Yeah, why would he do it like on if, purpose? If he knew, do you think he'd, he'd go, fuck these Let's bitches, shoot people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck these women, let's yeah. get guns. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah they, they overreact. Is He's he a playing? guy from BC. He's a guy from BC that likes to shoot. I, I, I get it. Yeah. He's not hurting anybody. Yeah, exactly. The only pain he caused is when he let in a lot of goals. That's yeah. it. And I'm looking at uh, the Instagram post. I don't see... Uh, it's him in like Hashtag a camouflage. Yeah, 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 it just says, one. I love my family, I love my country, and I care for my neighbor. I'm not a criminal or a threat to society. What that Justin sounds like a direct threat. What Justin Trudeau is trying to do is unjust. I support the so CCFR. let's go murder him. <laughs> support the CCFR uh, underscore CCDAF. Uh, Hashtag to keep fuck women. <laughs> <laughs> to keep my hunting tool. Thank you for listening to my opinion. Oh, so, ah. but uh, see, um, like if that's on Facebook, you can edit uh, your post and Instagram, I think Instagram. you can edit. I, Instagram, you can edit as too. well. Yeah. So I did, there was a, a a little part of that uh, Fuck post these that, that, that uh, got edited. Yo, women, should we shoot them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I think people will react on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people know, like you know, they he. I just don't like like. You don't like the disingenuous about like they know that he's not trying to shoot women. It's not just that. It's if you like gun, you can yeah. like guns. You can like stuff that you know it. Um, it could hurt other people. Like if you like knives and shit, mm. right? Like why is it acceptable to like knives? It's not. Of course it is. It's weird behavior. <laughs> no, but That'd if you like what you scare, like for real, like seeing Carrie Price with a gun, I'm like he likes guns. Seeing Carrie Price with a knife. Yeah. Going, no one's gonna take my knife away. Knife away. I love like, hunting. Yeah. Or, or if you, you know like cars, I, I, like who I imagine now with a with a knife is uh, Kanye West. I imagine him having a knife on him at no, all. No, I times imagine now. his his dad with a knife. <laughs> I imagine. <Yeah. laughs> no, him. It's not. Just I, I imagine Kanye West with a giant bug catching net. Mm. You fuck with him. You, you saw what he did on Infowars. I sent you the clips. Yeah. How funny was that? Oh, ridiculous. Brian died. 
I think he's he's ready for a comeback. Though. Yeah, he's ready for. Yeah, I, I love that Alex Jones was uncomfortable. He's like, yeah. but no, you like their style. You don't like the Nazis. Yeah. He's like, no, I think we gotta stop talking shit about the Nazis. They're so cool. He's like, yeah. <laughs> the Nazis were were criminals. They they kill people. You know that, right? And he's like, nah, these Jews are exaggerating. Mm. And he's like, ah. you can see Alex Jones like, what the fuck's he saying? I love how he tried to to steal bits from the intellectuals. He thought I wouldn't notice. Yeah, which bit? The 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 top five and a half list that we did, where we were being like sarcastic about the like the good things about Nazis and shit. You, you know what you that? should do for next episode is get uh, Adam to wear a mask. <laughs> or oh, a black mask. Like, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. And say the same things. Yeah. You know and have a coat with brands on it. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is that coat he's wearing? He's wearing like a fucking Kawasaki coat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he has a coat, but it's under the boxes that he's not allowed to touch. Yeah, yeah, anyways, what? Uh, what, what, does <laughs> what does that, does that mean? mean? Like he has a coat that, uh, anyways, whatever. The boxes that why he's you say anyways, to whatever. Touch. It's a podcast. You brought yeah, it up because yeah, because uh, so so because we got him this coat from Village de Valor. Remember you gave okay, us money. Okay, no, yeah, I'm yeah. talking, I thought you were talking about, about Kanye, Kanye West. You have no idea how to have a conversation. Oh, sorry. So I'm I was listening to Kanye West music, dude. His fucking all the cowboy shit. You're like, what are you talking about? Elvis, but we're talking Adam. about Elvis, right? Yeah. Oh no, because you said Adam. You should, we should have Adam wear like a coat with like a, like a Kanye. mask, yeah. and then I said, and and he's wearing that coat, so yeah. I meant uh, Kanye's coat. Oh, okay. I miss. Uh, I but miss, I get how I you thought I was talking. I thought you meant like a coat with like patches and shit, like the Hell's Angels. No, no, like like uh, I don't know Nazi patches, like the Hell's Angels. <laughs> so does <Like> Adam <laughs> have Nazi patches? No, no, he doesn't. <laughs> no, only tattoos. <laughs> You should get Adam a fucking Nazi tattoo on his back. <laughs> oh, because I'll never know. Yeah. Like, we'll pay you. What is it? A mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get a mermaid? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. I would never do that to the poor guy. Why? Are you crazy? You can see it. Yeah, but imagine one day. And if anyone sees this on his back, if anyone's trying yeah. to bang him, they deserve to see Yeah, it. but imagine he's like changing at his mom's house or something and his mom walks in on him changing. And she notices the Nazi tattoo. Bro, you watch a lot of porn. I think, yeah. <laughs> she notices the Nazi tattoo. Not that much. And then she's like, I always want to Adam jerk off a naked. Nazi. <laughs> like, you watch way too much porn. If Adam it's like, was oh, no, is your arm stuck in a dryer? Like, you watch way too much if porn. If Adam get your was arm. naked in front of me, and uh, uh, all I noticed was the tattoo, I'd be like, thank you, tat- thank you, racist tattoo. I didn't look at his dick or balls. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can forget a racist tattoo. I can't forget that guy's dick and balls. Or his asshole if he's yeah. bent over. Uh, you saw the video of when they went shopping? Yeah. Uh, when he was changing room, he just went to the toilet, and then there's a line up that phone that people yeah. were yelling. <laughs> and he's putting clothes on, on the, the floor, floor uh, like a fucking a homeless savage. Yeah. Like, who fucking puts, who puts clothes on a dirty bathroom The best floor. is wearing them after. That was the best. Ah. And then I brought him to the back store to change. Yeah, he was uh, just yeah. where the employees go. yeah. Should they come there's no changing rooms in, no, 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 they uh, took in them uh, off. Value Village? They took them off uh, uh, during the pandemic. Because people were stealing stuff? I, I think so, yeah. Jesus Christ. Who goes and steals a $3 pair of pants? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're looking at insane them. you have to be. Because <laughs> the only reason you go to Value Village is because It's a value from a village. It's, it's super cheap. So if you're going to steal stuff, steal stuff from an expensive store. Way harder. Yeah. They don't yeah. see it coming to Value Village. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. That's like, yeah, that's like mugging a homeless person. Yeah, no one sees it coming. No one sees the it coming. The cops don't even believe yeah. the homeless guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he stole yeah. my money. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have him on the next episode. Yeah. Because it's been a while he hasn't been there. I want to know what he's been up to. Oh, uh, He hasn't been on the intellectuals? No, because of the delays. We went to New York, and then Guido went to get exercised. Uh, and so we went to Mexico. Yeah, it's all... It's oh, all Guido get uh, more uh, surgery done? Yeah, he he fixed his teeth all nice. Yeah. In Mexico? In Mexico, yeah. His brain <laughs> is still Jesus fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> his brain was Maybe that's why. <laughs> Maybe they keep replacing his teeth and drilling a little too deep. Yeah. His brain is <laughs> fucked. God damn. He's yeah. getting better. He's back doing stand-up. Yeah. Okay. He just needs to change that poster. Mm. Yeah. It makes him look crazy. Uh, I mean... He's being himself, though. What's Is the name of his show? Because he's got the Cotton he's, Eye Joe. He's got the Cotton Eye Joe thing. Is uh, is that the name of his show? I have no idea. Cotton Eye oh, Guido. No, it's, uh, hold Does on. he change it to Cotton Eye Guido? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> or Mortadella Joe? Did that be bad, bad? Yeah, he should change it to Mortadella yeah. Joe. <laughs> Bro, his face Joey Baloney. <laughs> I Google him. Mortadella Joe. Mortadella Joe. Joe. <laughs> oh, Google has his uh, date of birth. Did you just laugh and say Google has his date of birth? Yeah, his age. 1953. Yeah. Oh, fuck. 
What, uh, what's what, it called? How old is Guido he? Grasso back on track. Oh, back on track. Yeah, yeah back on track. And then it's him going on a, yeah. on a track. Shouldn't he sing the song back on track? There is a song. There is? Back on track. Yeah. This is it. Looks yeah. great. Ah, oh, Christ. I should have done the poster. I don't know why I let him uh, do it alone. Yeah. But the, And which one is it? Is, How did he end up on a railroad? Yeah. On a S2. Back on track, and then there's a railroad track. And then... And then but that, and then the 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 website doesn't it, it says it sound it looks like you put a n at the end. Oh, of Oh, there's name. Guido Grasso, Guido Grasson. <laughs> Grasso, oh, because I think it's just a number two. two. Yeah, but it says number two, but the way it is, but Grasson Guido Grasson two. On two. <laughs> Grass on, Guido Grasson two. <laughs> Guido Grass on two. Guido. Fucking Guido, bro. <laughs> so why did he I have that? I fucked with this guy, bro. <laughs> he misspelled his name. Fucking <laughs> 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 So he's got Guido Grasso dot Eventbrite. Ah, <laughs> oh, Christ. Fuck. <laughs> You know what the N is for? Probably. <laughs> oh, I know what the N is for, but we're not saying anymore. <laughs> But it's probably for night number two. Yeah. Yeah. But he should have done Guido what? Grasso two, yeah. or Guido Grasso twenty six, Guido Grasso twenty seven. Oh, oh fucking Guido, bro! I can't or bro. Grasso twenty six, <laughs> Guido Grasson. You're the Guido from the Grasson tribe, huh? Yeah. Oh my god. The other one should Jesus. be Guido Grass off. Oh. <laughs> look at look at the bottom video. That's amazing. That's a good still image. No, in the middle. That's a great yeah, still image. Yeah. No, no, you don't have to click on it. I'm just saying how it looks. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm not logged in, so it won't let me. Uh, oh, oh, fucking Guido. Guido ah. Grass on. We love and him, then though. And there's Guido Grass... Grass... What, what, what is it? Grass GP... The, what, what's his... Ins- go down? What, what, what's the uh, Instagram? Uh, what's oh, his gr- uh, JR, Junior. Okay. Guido. Wait, was there someone called Guido Grasso on Instagram? I don't think so. I don't think so. So why did he add Junior? Does, does anyone know that he's he never goes by Guido? Grasso His last name Jr. isn't even Guido. What? I think so. Yeah. So he's Guido Grasso Junior, but he's the first. There's one. no senior. Yeah. Oh my Jesus. god! Bro, I think. <laughs> What's his dad's name? I have no clue. Silvio. It'd be amazing if his dad's name is Guido Grasso. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you You embarrass me. Change your name. No end for you. Yeah, yeah I'll take away your end. I'm uh, going to do what they did to those Americans in the South and take away their ends. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we love him, though. He's a fucking... That's a nice suit, though. I like that yeah. there's a... It's like a... Reservoir Dogs look, yeah. but Reservoir Dogs and then I don't like uh, the duck old, face. Old timey fucking circus clown. I don't like the face. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, he had a beard. He looked so cool with the beard, and it, and they made him yeah. cut it. Yeah. Who made? Who him made cut him it? cut it? Said his friends bullied him, or somebody told him. <sighs> and what's the logo like? Like uh, the so he's doing two different rooms. Yeah. Uh, the same room, man. No, it's two different rooms. Oh, two, oh it is. Two different rooms. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, Guido's gonna be on stage. So, get tickets if you haven't already. You can watch Guido. Uh, go have some fun. In ha- yeah, uh, half uh, Italian. Uh, yeah. Uh, is that what, what does it say? Half Italian. I don't know. It, it, it says uh, partially, partially Italian. In Italian. Oh, partially. Um, uh, but and what, th- is the night two partially Italian too? Yeah. Okay. So it's the same exact show, but two different rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Both partially Italian. So you don't have to be Italian to watch it. And it's Guido. You watch from the podcast. Go enjoy it. You'll yeah, yeah, enjoy it. He's, a, he's a you. fun time. You know yeah. how he is. He's back on track. As they say. Goddamn. Poseidon? Who's, who's yeah. opening for him? Do you know? Poseidon. No, no I'm, I'm not opening. I, I'm I think you're opening. He's going to ask you tomorrow. Monday. Oh, for real? Yeah. I, I don't think. It'd be amazing if uh, yeah, if he brought you up as a Poseidon. <laughs> the first <laughs> night you're Poseidon and the second night you're Poseidon. <laughs> <laughs> Poseidon too. Yeah, well, you're Poseidon. Yeah, what are you, why are you freaking out? You're happy. You got a gig. Yeah, I'm happy actually. I don't yeah. know how to feel about it. Feel are you doing it for real? Feel honored. I mean, yeah. if he asks me, yeah, I'll do it. Okay. You should feel honored. You should yeah. do it partially in Greek. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to. I could barely do it in English, Mike. Dude, and then you racist. end with uh, <laughs> vanilla ice's ice ice baby, but in uh, but in, in Greek. Greek. Do it partially racist against Italians. Uh, oh, how, you, well, you, you told me that he was going to ask me tomorrow. I already thought of the jokes that I was going to say. <laughs> like, give us one. Okay, one. Okay, 
Um, so I'm gonna butcher it now because I'm not in that uh, headspace. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I was I I saw a poster uh, about a store that was selling suits, and the poster said that real authentic Italian. Suits. He thought about this this whole time that we were talking. Okay. Huh? Go on. No, no, I've re- I've written this a while ago. Um, and then <laughs> no, I know which ones I'm gonna say, but anyways, um. Uh, real authentic Italian suits, and I knew it was a lie because the model on the poster modeling the suits was a black man. Because Italians are racist. Whoa! Who told you that? Well, you know, because look, watch the Sopranos, bro. All right, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna plug him. There's no reason to follow him. <laughs> However, the man in front of me, comedy legend Mike Ward, has a website called. MikeWord.ca. That's where you got to go. MikeWord.ca for all of his tour dates. Also, the best place you can link to his French podcast, MikeWord Suzukut. Suzukut is available everywhere you get your podcasts. But if you go to patreon.com slash Suzukut, you get all the episodes first before everyone else. And you can watch it live when they're being recorded here yeah. at the Bordel. Sunday nights is when that go happens. Go to Patreon slash, patreon.com slash uh, MikeWordon. Mike Wardon. <laughs> Mike Wardon too. <laughs> patreon.com slash Pantelision uh, for me. <laughs> Follow all of my stuff. My website is Pantel's Comedy on Com. What is it? Comedy on Com. That's what it is. Uh, you'll find it. Just try it. Poseidon? I am Poseidon.com. That's my website. Uh, is that who you are? What do you mean? So is Poseidon.com. I am Poseidon.com. Okay. So yeah. po- he's Poseidon.com. No, Poseidon. No, no, no. Hold on. Because Poseidon.com was not available. So it's so I. It's he's no longer Poseidon. No, the website is I am Poseidon dot com. I am the yes. letter Poseidon. M. Okay. So no, no, I, no, 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 so no. I am. the letter it's M. I, Poseidon. I am. No, no. It's I am. I. So like think M. Or I am Poseidon. No, 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 no. It's I am instant messenger. No, no. It's I am Poseidon dot com. Poseidon. It's I A M P O S E I. No, 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 no. Impotent Poseidon. It makes sense. I A M like Ian. It's no, no. It's it's like. E M like I A M I A M P O S E I D O N. So it's a Liam. Oh, it's like Liam. Liam without the L. So okay, so Liam. Liam Neeson dot com. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs>